and welcome to the Boza Foods Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Julia Lombardo and today we're making a really easy and tasty pasta featuring tomatoes and bocconcini. So let's get started. First, we're going to need a really great high quality pasta which is going to be this Prefresco brand and the shape is called Creste de Galle. It's a little macaroni with a little ruffled edge. It's gonna be perfect for our sauce. Then we have Castro Germano olives which are really nice and buttery. We have some capers, some fresh heirloom tomatoes. You can use regular cherry tomatoes if they're not in season. We have about three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna be using about a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. And then we have our bocconcini, which is about a cup and a half. Some Parmesan cheese, which we're gonna grate on top afterwards. And then a little bit of chili flakes for some kick. First, we're going to cook our pasta. While our pasta's cooking, we're going to get the sauce ready. So I have here a large pot of salted boiling water, which I'm gonna add the pasta into. You wanna make sure that the water is as salty as the Mediterranean Sea, as if you were in Italy. So you gotta make sure you have enough salt. I say about a tablespoon per liter. And then we're gonna put the lid back on there, slightly off. We have our heirloom tomatoes already halved and quartered, so those are gonna get set aside in a large mixing bowl. And next we're going to prepare the bocconcini and the olives. So we're simply going to quarter the bocconcini. This pasta is going to get tossed into the sauce, so the heat from the pasta is gonna melt the bocconcini, and it's gonna be really good. I like using bocconcini for this recipe, but you can use any type of soft cheese. A feta or a goat cheese can be good substitutes. Anything that's soft and that will melt under the heat of the freshly cooked pasta. These are going to join the sliced tomatoes. And now we're going to slice our olives. So these olives are really special. They're called Castelvetrano and they're a very mild green olive, um, almost kind of like a buttery flavor, if you can believe it. A lot of people that don't like olives actually don't mind the Castle Vitrano. This adds a really nice bright brightness to the pasta and also a little bit of acidity. These are going to join the other ingredients in the bowl. And then we're going to add the sun-dried tomatoes, the capers, which is a really nice little salty addition. I'm only gonna do a little bit of that. And then some chili flakes to give this dish a little bit of heat. Then we're going to add about a teaspoon of this garlic paste. And then for a little bit of freshness and some brightness, we're just gonna tear some basil This is going to get tossed with some olive oil, and then you really want this to marinate for at least an hour. Now, if you're gonna make this and eat it right away, you can leave it at room temperature, or if you wanna use it as a make-ahead recipe, you can make this sauce and keep it in the fridge overnight, and then when you're ready to serve your guests, all you have to do is just toss in the fresh pasta. So we're gonna do about three tablespoons, but if it's looking a little bit dry, you wanna add some more, definitely go ahead. Then we're going to add some salt. We're going to mix this all together and get all of those ingredients incorporated. The pasta is all ready. I've strained out the excess water and you're gonna know it's ready when you take a bite of it and you can see a little bit of a white circle on the inside. That means it's a perfect al dente. So we're going to toss the pasta while it's still hot with our tomatoes and bocconcini. Again, you wanna make sure that this is all done while the pasta is still warm so that all that cheese can get melted. And then now we're simply going to stir this up. Make sure you have a large enough bowl that you can mix everything all together. You wanna make sure this is nice and incorporated 
If you don't have uh, the Creste de Gallo, you could also substitute for an Orecchietti, or even a macaroni works really well. Any type of small noodle. Creste de Gallo actually translates to coxcomb in Italian because it resembles that little funny part on the top of the rooster's head. We're going to finish this pasta off with some Parmigiano Reggiano. This one's been aged for 24 months, so it's gonna be really nice and salty and delicious. And lastly, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of fresh basil. And there you have it, a super tasty and simple pasta recipe. You can find all of these ingredients at Bosa Foods and they really do have the best pasta selection. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.